Hey everyone, this is Mike with Western How To Videos, and today we're going to take a look on how to use GoPro Studio. And this is just the real basics on editing, very easy software to use. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now, when you first open it up, it should just look like this. This is the home page under Import and Convert. And if you want to add some videos, you could just click up here where it says Import New Files. You can click that click on which file you want and hit open or you could just open up the file folder where you do have some videos and you could just drag and drop them on in to GoPro Studio and as you can see it'll show up right there so what I want to do is I'm gonna click the next one hold shift down just highlight the other three I want and drop them on in there to the sidebar here and it should just take a second to load up Let's minimize that. Okay, for this tutorial, what we want to do is we're going to get four different clips. And one clip needs to be two seconds, the second four seconds, another one at two seconds, and another one at 15 seconds. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click on the first video up here I want to use. And I can hit play right here just showing a scene. Now you might see it be real jumpy on your computer. It depends on how fast your computer is. Um, my computer is just a little bit slower so it does tend to look real jumpy when I'm doing this part. But don't worry once you convert the video into the edit it'll actually look a lot smoother too. So what I want to do is I just want to get a little scene so I'm going to do is a mark one so this is where I want the scene to start. So let's click that. And I want to go for a couple seconds. I'm going to click this other right side. So that's my cut I want to do right there. So that's the start of the video and that's going to be the end of the video. Then I'll come over here where it says add clip to conversion list. So that's one. And that one's about two seconds. Two point one two seconds long so let's go to the next one I want to do I just want to get a scene going up the chair lift here maybe go about right there once again that's my end point and I want to do about a four seconds so I need to look at my time real quick here this back up here so I'm at 4.5 so let's go about 8.5 and I can actually take this and just drag it and that's my out point add clip to conversion list so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video I'm going to go through just two more videos and then I'll show you what to do next okay after going through these other two videos I came up with a couple more clips and as you notice right here we do have our time so I got my two seconds um, that was actually 3.5 so I do need to fix that one another two seconds and this one's just a little over 15 seconds so actually let me go back I'm gonna fix this one real quick so I just want to show you real quick as if you do have a mistake you can click on that video and then what you could do is hit remove clip now I can actually go back and find that video that I want to add and I just want to add just a little more time to it so let me go just throw a little bit more let's drag this over just a hair more then I can actually reselect my out point just to make it a longer video hit add clip to conversion list okay so now I have actually a little over four seconds which I want and then once I'm real happy with what I have over here all I have to do is hit convert all. You're going to start noticing it's going to start processing right here. So depending on how long the video is will depend on how fast it will process. So since these are really short clips, they should process pretty quick. So I'll just pause the video as this goes through each video and process it and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, that only took a couple minutes. Uh, since all these were short clips, it actually processed pretty quick. 
So now what you could do is come down here once it's all completed and hit to proceed to step number two. So let's click that. Now what it's going to do is bring up some editing templates. So for this tutorial, I just want to do basic editing. So what we're going to do is click on one of these templates and you can actually scroll down to check out the different templates. And you're going to notice on each template it's going to show how long it is and how many cuts. So for example, this is one minute and two seconds at 14 different cuts. What we're going to do is come up here and I want to do this just real short 28 seconds four different cuts for this tutorial. And just to let you know you can come up here where it says download more here. You can click this and actually search for other templates you can use which are pretty cool. So let's go ahead and click on this one at 20 seconds and four cuts and hit create. Now what it's going to do is going to load up the template and as you're going to notice the classic right in the beginning this GoPro video so you know it shows it's standard GoPro now if there's a if you don't want that in the beginning of your video you can always right click on your mouse and hit cut if you do want to cut that out of there but I like I'm gonna keep it in there for this tutorial now these videos actually already come with some video that's on it and you're gonna notice this little bow's eye right here so what it, this is is we're gonna take each video and we're just gonna drag and drop it into these slots and we could just come across here and you can see all the different slots here so we just have four different slots and they're actually gonna say 1.8 seconds 3.3 1.8 and 15 so it doesn't matter if your video is just a hair longer it'll compensate for that so let's go ahead and I'm gonna drag the uh, bar back just a little bit I'm gonna start with this video here this is my opening scene so I'm just gonna take this video up to the upper left drag it in I'm holding my left mouse key down as I'm doing this and I'm gonna release and there's my first scene right there and I'm gonna come to the next one right here and I'm gonna drag my second scene which is going up the chair lift drag drop see number three scene is dropping through the trees and then the last scene is cutting down through the powder what a great day this was and as you notice the audio on here is crossed off I can actually so what it's doing this is the basic editing so it's gonna cut off all the audio and it has music already set up in the background as you're gonna see in this lower bar area so let's just take a real quick look and see what this thing's gonna look like so let me just kinda of scroll this bar to the left I'm gonna hit the play button kind of showing through the scenes here see if that uh, music line lines up right here oh, I didn't like that so I noticed the last scene didn't work the way I wanted it to so I'm gonna fix that so to fix that and it's good I'm showing you how to do this so so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to import and convert so let's click that and I'm gonna redo that last scene there because I don't like it actually I want to show you one thing I want to do is actually remove it from the sidebar here which is this one right here and I'm gonna hit remove clip okay so now I'm gonna go back to import and convert so what I'm going to do is go back to the original one I put in over here on the left. And I'm going to fix this a little better. Um, I'm going to bring it up a little bit here. Put a new endpoint. Because I really want to get the neat pal shot on the end. And that will be my new out point. 
And before I actually take this clip and add it over here, I'm just going to hit clear all on this side, which will clear all the clips on the side. Add clip to list. So I'm starting fresh. And then I can hit convert all. So this will actually convert it over, and then I can go back to the other. So let me just pause just for a second while it does that. Okay, it just uh, converted, so I'm going to go back to proceed to step two. And here is my new scene right there. So I'm actually going to take it and just drag and drop it over the top of my previous scene. And then now I could just hit play right here to preview it. So to do that, let's just hit the play button. And it should show going down. Hopefully it hits the powder shot just right. Ah, uh, perfect. Love it. And it goes back to the GoPro. Let me hit pause. Okay, I really love the way that turned out. I think that's really cool. Super basic. So once I'm really happy with this video, I'm going to export the video. And right here you have the option of doing directly for best quality. You could actually pick YouTube. You got Vimeo, a mobile device, HD 720, HD 1080, which I'm actually going to pick this. An archive edit. And actually this is really good for editing and additional software like Sony Vegas or some of the other ones out there. And you do have custom right here. So I'm going to actually go with just 1080 and hit export. Okay, so as you see it popped up a window so now you can figure out where you want to actually save your GoPro video so you can actually pick your desktop. If you want to just put it right there. So let's just save it to the desktop. And I'm going to call this uh, Copper Mountain Powder Day. I'm going to hit save. Now as you see it's going to start exporting which should take a few minutes so I'm going to pause and we'll check it out here in a minute. Okay it just got done processing so now if I minimize the screen I should see the video which is located right here um, of the uh, video just edited with GoPro Studio. So anyways I'm going to actually show you what this video is like at the end of the once I get done talking here. So just to let you know uh, this is actually a super easy basic software to use and if you play around with it you get some pretty creative stuff going on there. And uh, thanks for watching and definitely hit that like button down below and comment if there's something you want to talk about. I'll try to get back with you. I'm actually uh, pretty busy a lot of times where I don't, I'm not able to get on the computer. So, but anyways, hope this video helped you out and let's check out and see how this video actually looks and you have a great day.